There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, and that was weak through the flesh, God sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for our sin condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after flesh, but after the Spirit. For they are after the flesh, do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit, the things of the Spirit, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because of the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they are in the flesh cannot please God, but ye are not in the flesh but in the spirit if so be that the spirit of god dwell in you now if any man have not the spirit of christ he is none of his and if christ be in you the body is dead because of sin but the spirit is life because of righteousness but if the spirit of him that raised up jesus from the dead dwell in you he that raised up Christ from the dead shall be also quickened to your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. For as many are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ if so be that we suffer with him that we may also be glorified together <laughs>